Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the fourth episode of Beacon Pines, if I did the editing correctly. But yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump on back in here and fuck some shit up. Our harvest awaits. I don't like that. Luca took a deep breath and gingerly opened the door, stealing himself for Grand's wrath. I forgot last episode we, uh, <laughs> we just obeyed Grand Grand. Now we're going to get fucked because of it. All right. Ran. I'm home. Everything's fine. Ran. Is she not home? Huh. Oh, let me let me ponder this. Yeah, let me I guess. Let me go to the kitchen, maybe. Ran. I know I wasn't supposed to go anywhere. I was just helping look for Lolo. Ran. Oh. Not out here. Hmm. Strange. Is she. Gran. Roxy came over. She was worried about him. So I figured you wouldn't mind if I helped look for him. Turns out Lolo is safe and sound. Deep in here. Luca was alone. Interesting. Okay. Uh, how come she's not here? The house was empty. Didn't someone say that Gran was looking for me? But Gran's not back yet? I guess that's a good thing. Nothing to do now but sleep, I guess. <laughs> sitting by the pond. Listening to small waves lap against a rock. His father sat in a folding chair in front of him. Without turning, he spoke. Why don't you grab me some nice bait? Sure thing, Dad. Luca hopped over to the tackle box and popped open the lid. Inside was a rolling, buzzing mass. We're fishing with bees? Luca's father gave a warm chuckle. Well, you catch more fish with bees than honey. Pick us out a good one. I don't like this. I feel like this is a nightmare. Luca closed his eyes and plucked out a bee. He could feel its wings struggle between his finger and thumb. Okay. Holding it at arm's length, he hurried over. His father deftly baited the hook and examined his work. Okay. Music's getting intense. Well, not intense, but like... Flip More. The, wrist, the line buzzed in a graceful arc. Who the pictures look at the wrist? Sorry. <laughs> That's the first thing that came to mind. The water accepted it without a splash or ripple. Oh, cool. The wrong choice. But I respect it. What? The wrong the choice? The began to freeze over. Sometimes we gotta make the wrong choice before we can make it right. That's a good way to look at this because if you think about it, um... In the other one, <laughs> I don't know how to word it. In the other one, um, God, I really don't know how to word it. Ah, uh, fuck. Um, episode two. Uh, wait, two? Yeah, episode two, where we die? No. Yeah, where we died. <laughs> no, episode two isn't uh, up by the time I'm recording this. So letting y'all know that everything's going to be a little weird on that. But um, on episode two, we pretty much died, but then we got the shit charm and then it worked. God, the music is... Bla okay, the music's blasting in my ear. Um, but yeah, pretty much we died and then we got the shit charm that allowed us to uh, get Rolo in. So that actually fits the point there. Propagated across the still surface with an alarming speed. Okay. Luca scrambled back as the ground beneath him turned cold. Okay. Dad, I don't understand. Sorry, kiddo. Understanding isn't always part of the deal. The fuck? The relentless ice shot through the fishing line toward his father. Dad, look out! His father casually wound the reel. 
None of it's your fault, you know. Never was. Is, did his dad drown to death or freeze to death? Dad, we have to go. Luca grabbed his father's shoulders, trying to pull him away. Please, you, you have to run. The ice crackled as it spread across his father's hands. That's hey. the thing about fishing, Luca. His chest began to crystallize. You toss your hook in, and you never know what you're gonna pull out. A shock of searing cold ran up Luca's arms. He gave one last desperate tug. The chair tipped backwards in a single frozen mass. Luca tried to stop the momentum, but it was too late. He watched the icy form of his father slam into the hard ground, shattering into a thousand pieces that crowded around his feet. Well, shit. Dad, I don't understand. What does all this mean? Um, you killed me, son. <laughs> rustle of leaves was the only reply. Oh, it's fucking doing it again. Lucas Whoa! Struggled to focus on the walkie-talkie. Look at the look at the fucking outside, dude. That looks sick, though. Rolo? Faintly, he could hear Rolo amongst the noise. Luca. Rolo, is that you? Luca. There. Rolo, it's the middle of the night. Luca, thank God. Listen, I don't know how long this thing will work down here. He wasn't found down here. Lolo's voice was coming through more clearly now, but some words were still just static. Listen to me, someone grabbed me yesterday. What? The man, the, the man in the hazmat suit? It was blah, 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 blah. Took me to some sort of blah, 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 blah. I think I'm underground. Underground? Are you okay? Eh, kinda. You seem more interested in blah, 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 for now at least. Mr. Kerr and you made it back. Mr. Kerr said you made it back home safe. Kerr? No! Blah, blah, blah. Trust! He's. I don't know. Hold on, someone's coming. Hold on? Olo, where are you? Luca held still, waiting for a response. Can I go back? His pounding heartbeat, marking the passage of time. <clears throat> okay, I think they're gone. It's getting worse. I can barely hear you, man. Olo's voice began to fade. Losing signal. Not much time. Mission control. You need to. They're a treehouse. I don't know what it says. I'm, t I'm trying to climb up like the treehouse. With that, the signal died for good. What is this? What was he trying to say about the treehouse? What's at the treehouse? The antenna. He wants me to use the antenna to get to the treehouse to get a better signal. Rolo, you genius. Luca grabbed the walkie-talkie and sprinted to the treehouse. Okay. Luca heard a group of footsteps approaching. He dashed behind the bushes to avoid being spotted. <gasps> Fuck. Oh well. We all understand our rules. You can count on me. Uh, I still think we need more time. This wasn't the original plan. Mr. Tolliver paused, shifting his eyes to one side. Interesting. What plan? We're all in danger now. In danger of what? I, for one, refuse to sit idly by while that danger persists. Refuse! Nice. Um, you just keep your wits about you. Mr. Tolliver took one long, quiet breath. <sighs> You're right. 
You can count on me. I just wish we could have made that deal with Harris Valentine. The resources would have still came in handy. As I said, I had no time to contact her after your call this morning. Plans change? How's Luca holding up? He's fine. We shouldn't lose sight of the fact that this is all... I know very well what all of this is for. We have no choice. Operation Sparkle Plug has a new objective. Are we in agreement? The three shared a determined look. Sparkle Plug? What the fuck is that? Good. We'll re reconvene after the festival. Aw, oh, dude, she's gonna kick my ass now. And why are you meeting with Mrs. Frattle and Mr. Trolliver late at night? Hey, Luca! Oh, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Don, you scared me! You goddamn, goddamn! My grandpa probably heard that shit. Oh, how long have you been there? Oh, just a few minutes. Early today, I saw Mr. Trolliver and a grand enter the diner together. When my shift at the new star was over, they still had left. So I used the greatest tool of any investigator's reporter. What's that? Time! When they left, I told them here. What do you think they're up to? Oh, whatever it is, they seem more than I've determined. They mentioned the festival. Yeah, I heard that too. I think I've been doing anything different recently. Anything changed? Ah, she's got a phone... Got a phone call this morning and rushed out the door. I called her here and told her it seems... It was either furious or terrified. Or both. Luca, be careful out there. I think it might be in the middle of the scoop of light time. I will. Aren't you coming out? Nah, I'm gonna take out here a bit longer. See ya, Luca. Interesting. I did it! I changed the sign! Splendid. Did anyone see you? I don't believe so. You were right. It was simple enough to just re rearrange the letters. Odd choice for a prank, though. In situations such as these, odd is good. The two boys shared a mischievous grin. I can't wait for everyone to see the big reveal. <laughs> yes, it should be quite memorable. <laughs> hmm. Let's make ourselves scarce for now. Interesting. What do they do to the sign? I'll come back. Uh, I'm curious now. Am I able to follow? No. Okay. Okay. Wanted to make sure I can follow on that. Close pawn. Oh, yeah. Wait. I could do this now, right? Yeah. Just to see what else is there. Five, six. Aha! She, okay, so I got the last ones. Luca wrapped some tape around the hook. Hey, you never know. The fuck is that? Got a bunch of big words words written in it. Mm, let's see that. You regret to inform you that your application for property rights, with respect to the peak and pine CBD in surrounding area, has been rejected. Who's that for? Applicant Valentine Estate. Good. Good. Oh. Interesting. Oh, so then there's way more. I thought it was just the six. On the line. Sometimes the best stuff is at the bottom of the pond. Go. What is that? Malice 80 proof whiskey. Hard liquor for a hard man. 
Best leave that be. Takes a real piece of work to leave something like that lying around. Alright, that's it, right? Yeah, that's all I can do. Lights are on, so I guess Roto is in there. Huh? Yes. Roto! Roto! Are you there? That was weird. The music just fucking dropped the bass, dude. I'm at the treehouse now, Rolo. Mr. Kerr said you were all right. Damn it. What happened out there? Dang it, Rolo, where are you? Is he behind the thing? Who's there? Luca could only see a cloaked shape behind the rocket. I've got a weapon in here. So you'd better come out right now. He strained to hear as a muffled voice began. Yeah. <gasps> oh my god, is that Iggy? Something that already did. Gripped Luca's throat. Who are you? I don't recognize me. I guess I don't even go on my jump anymore. Luca stared at the ground for a moment, trying to place the dampened voice. The figure shifted slowly from behind the rocket, revealing itself to Luca. <laughs> Oh. Oh, you're fine. I thought you were like 50 times worse. Honestly, I legit thought you were dead. Mocker. <laughs> and now they hunt me like the beast I am. Iggy. Luca reached over empathetically. Iggy's tone jolted to dejected anger. Don't touch me! It's so all your fault. The fuck did I? Well, I mean, I did push him into the things, I guess. So. Luca slumped to the ground, overwhelmed by guilt. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to. I lost control. So you could control yourself for a second, and I get to be like this forever. There must be a way to fix this. Oh, you gotta be my sa- I mean, technically. Technicality. Could. Gotta be my savior? Yeah. Perfectly, little Luca saves the day. <laughs> Fuck you. With his positive attitude, the power of friendship. I mean, I do have the power right fucking here right now. Oh, so that's not explored yet. Oh, so it shows everything that's been explored. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Struggle? Oh, there's one where you can struggle. Oh, hey, that's actually pretty cool. Huh, well now... I'll come back to that. I'll come back to that. Let's get back to this. Okay. I... None of this matters. There's no time. They're after me. They chased me all through Reap Wood. All they came in here to hide. Hide? From who? Who's after you? Luca! Luca! Rolo? It's not safe, Luca! Rolo, where are you? The treehouse! I'm at the treehouse, Rolo. Where are you? No, Luca, the treehouse isn't safe. They said they were going to the treehouse. Oh, fuck. I was trying to tell you to stay away from the treehouse. Who said they're going to the treehouse? The clipboards. Clipboards? What? Wait. The fucking execs! Those fucking little shits! 
Oh shit, so it is a fucking thing. What did I tell you? Those prenatal harvest raccoons are after me. They may chase me yelling questions at me. What sort of questions? They were saying the same stuff they always do. But it's different now. Less asking, more threatening. Okay. Okay, look, we're gonna figure this out, Iggy. Yeah, well, thanks. How? Has anyone pressured to decide to more about that child? <laughs> Crap, they found me. Luca, what's happening? Okay, don't panic. You stay here and I'll see what they want. What the fuck? Ha, oh, Mr. Van Horn! We would love to hear your thoughts. Do you have time for an informal chat? Will it be brief? Your time is valuable to us. Uh, be down just a sec. Of course, of course, of course, of course, of course. We have a problem. Luca, you gotta get out of there. Who's out there? Is it them? Yeah, it's the clipboards. A bunch of them. How many? <laughs> God, maybe all of them. And yeah, you were right. They're saying the same stuff, but with the creepy knob cranked to 10. My Chianga gave me a present. You would love to hear his thoughts. <laughs> Run! He slumped to his knees. I don't know what to do. I'm just so tired. Luca, what do we do? Luca grabbed the walkie talkie and headed for the window. Follow my lead. Luca and Iggy climbed up the back of the treehouse to its roof, where Rolo had constructed his MCDC. The fuck is that? The mission control defense cannon. Okay. From behind the crowd of clipboards, William Kerr strode forward, a warm smile on his face. <laughs> Iggy, there you are! You gave all of us a heck of a scare! <laughs> Go away, just leave me alone! Actually, I feel like I should do his voice normal now. Yeah, just go away, just leave me alone! Oh, sorry again, but no can do. <laughs> Don't worry, now. We're here to help. Help? Then why were you here chasing me? Luca, can you talk some sense to your pal here? Just look at him, he's not well. What's wrong with him? Why did that gunk do? What did that gunk do to him? Oh, that's a very honky big question, Luca. All you need to know is that he's sick. <laughs> he's real sick, Luca. I just need you to let us up there and take care of him. <laughs> You told me Lolo was okay, that he was back at his place, resting. He is! Poor fella just got a little lost. <laughs> That's a lie. That is hurtful, Luca. Think that's a hurtful thing to say, Luca. Hurtful thing to say. I thought we were buddies! <laughs> Why? Because he lets you ramble on like a wackadoo? Nobody likes you, you creep! You do have a creepy ass smile, not gonna lie to you. Her smile faltered. Why don't you pop on down here so we can have a face to face? The only like this is gonna give us all a heck of a short throat. <laughs> Anyone watch that? Lucas grip tightened on the MCDC. What did you do to Rolo, you liar? <laughs> oh, shucks, Luca. The only teeny 
I do fear I told you was that he was at home. He is resting, and he is perfectly safe. For now, at least. <laughs> What happens to him next is up to you, Luca. Look around! You're in quite the pickle, and I am the only person in the whole wide world who can help you. You get to decide how this ends. Fuck! Luca's mind raced. He was caught in a trap. What do you do when there's no hope? He wiped his cheeks with a sleeve. What are you gonna do, Luca? Fight! Let's Luca fucking go! And decided to take the only option they had left. Fight. He swung the mission control defense cannon around, aiming it confidently at the smirking face of William Kerr. <laughs> Hey, Mr. Kerr. He summoned his most insolent demeanor. Grow those senses, regards. Hey, that was uncalled for. Then a little rude, and just plain. Unsanitary. Luca, I really did think we were good pals. What a shame that it comes to this. Kerr turned his back on the two boys. Hmm. And this. With a nonchalant wave of the hand, he made his exit. Fuck. As the clipboards began to slowly advance on the treehouse, Luca looked to Iggy with resignation in his eyes. The end. That escalated quickly. Big Maybe time. Discretion was the better part of valor here. Let's put a pin in this for now.